Hello everyone, I'm going to keep this short since I'm driving and I need to focus, especially when there's like icy roads. But I, um, I went to this antique shop that my mom told me about, and uh, this is the place I was telling you guys that, you know, I was supposed to go to or my mom was going to take me. So I went there yesterday and, you know, I never knew antique stores actually sold like old video games like this, but um, that was like all a bunch of shit from like the 1800s or whatever. So, um, anyways, so I go there and I found I found some NES tiles and it's like, oh, they're cool, but, eh, I don't want them. But then, you know, the games were $2. So then it's like, you know, you know, I, I thought about it the whole day and it's like, you know what, I, I can't take this anymore. I gotta buy those games. So, I went there, I went back there just now, and as, as you probably know, and I bought all every NES game they had except Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt because I already got it. So... Let me show you guys which games I got, since the road's pretty narrow, it's, I think it's okay. Now, the first game is Track and Field 2, never played it before, so, actually I've never played any of these before, so, uh, <laughs> um, then I got, um, Blades of Steel, um, sorry if you can't see it, I'm looking at the road here, um, so that's cool, again, never played it, um, but it's Konami, so I'm sure it's good, and then I got a classic, NES Baseball, you know, hey, need a classic man and there's actually a price tag on here it says five dollars so that's good then i got again um i think i played this like once but uh world games you know and jeez I, I don't need these sleeves man i got too many of them then last game is hoops um and i can't really see the cartridge i'm sorry but again i'm driving so i'm not really gonna take them out or anything but I just thought I'd let you guys know I picked up those games, and uh, I think that's all I'm going to be picking up for a while. I, I, you know, I do got some money, but, you know, I'm trying not to spend it. I just bought a whole slew of, you know, video games, and, you know, I don't really want to, uh, yeah, I really don't want to spend all my money if I don't have any. Besides, I owe one of my friends some money, quite a bit of money, actually, so, um, you know, I feel bad for, you know, having him wait so long, so... Anyways, yeah, I just thought I'd, you know, make another video where I'm, like, driving. I'm going to stop by Target on the way home, buy some, like, barbecue chips. And, like, but not, like, the regular ones. I get the Lay's Baked Barbecue Chips because those are so freaking good. I get those, like, when I go to Subway and everything. Oh, my God. They're so terrific. They taste so good. Um, I will say that the sun is now out. I mean, there are quite a bit of clouds, but now, you know, the sun's beginning to come out more. So that's really good. I'm glad that that's going on for me also um uh, an update on pool of radiance on the famicom um i'm currently at the graveyard i i didn't want to do the kobold cave because um it's much harder in my opinion it's the, actually the hardest part of the game well with all the trolls and everything but um no uh i all i have to do is kill the vampire and that said there is an optional battle with some mummies which i want to do because you know i've done literally every part of the graveyard except that part i know some people probably don't even know what i'm talking about i'm just you know, talking about where i'm at and you know, my number one game of all time i was looking up someone's review of the game and they had really nothing good to say and all i could say is you know i'm i'm just sad in that that game is so underrated like, I know there's some underrated games out there, but why, out of all games, is Pool of Radiance, like, one of the most underrated? Everyone thinks it's shit, you know, every, and I'm talking about the NES version, not the computer versions. Everyone likes the computer versions, but what I mean is, like, why, you know, why in God's name is the NES version, like, hated by everybody? Like, you know, some people are saying, well, it looks too Japanese. Well, yeah, a Japanese game developer made it. Um, does that answer your question? Yeah, they're going to look Japanese, just like, you know, if it's developed by an American company, the characters are going to look American. Yeah, you know, I do have some grips with that game, even if it is my number one game of all time. But, you know, every game has its flaws. Every game. Super Mario Brothers. I mean, hell. Eh, yeah, fuck, Call of Duty Black Ops. I've never even played it, and I don't really intend to, but eh, hell, I'm sure that game's got some problems, too. Just, every game's, you know, not perfect. Um, I Someone replied to one of my comments today, on the NES Die Hard playthrough that I think Cubex 55 uploaded. But, um, there, I said, you know, this is, in my opinion, the best movie based game of all time. You know, it follows the movie great, and it actually made me buy the fucking movie. I didn't write that part in, but it's true. It made me buy the movie on iTunes, um, because I couldn't find a fucking DVD release at the time. Now I find it, them everywhere, which is funny. But, um, so someone replied to my call, and they're like, so you haven't played 
GoldenEye and 60, GoldenEye 64. It's like, oh my god, that's the most fucking overrated game of all time. Now, don't get me wrong, GoldenEye 007, it's not a bad game, but it is the, like, I would say, you know, I can honestly say without, you know, hesitation, that that is the most overrated game ever developed, ever created by a human being. Everybody just talks about how great it is. No, no, there's no flaws of it. You know, it's perfect. Yes, I watched the movie, and they recreate the scenes, you know, just, you know, textbook perfect and everything. But come on. I mean, you got Quake 64, you know, and, you know, there, there were other FPS games on there, you know, on the N64 that were good, too. Just as good, if not better. So, again, not saying GoldenEye 007 is a bad game, but, you know, and one major problem I had with GoldenEye 007 is that you could actually die while pausing if you're, like, really low on health. Because when you pause the game, for those of you who haven't played it, um, you, know, you're, you know, James Bond stops, looks at his watch, and then, you know, it goes to the pause screen. Well, it's like, um, you know, an enemy can still hurt you while you're, well, you know, he's looking at his watch and then it zooms in into the watch to the pause screen. You can actually die from that. And that is bullshit. That is one huge design flaw. I can see them trying to be realistic, but what about, you know, how does that explain, like, when you're in the pause menu? Aren't they still going to shoot at you? Or is it like, James, I was like, wait, 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 I, I need to check something on my watch. Just, just give me a sec. I mean, really, there, there's no, it, it doesn't make sense. Again, not a bad game, but in my opinion, the most overrated game ever. So, and and this, along with other games like Call of Duty Black Ops, come on, people, it's not the best game of all time. Um, I don't know. I don't mean to rant and rave, but again, you know, I just it's just my take on it. You know, hey. So, anyways, I am going to stop this video now because I need to concentrate on my driving, especially when there is ice on the road. I am actually stoked my mom actually let me use her car because she was afraid I'm going to like get in a crash or something. So anyways, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys had a great weekend. I'm actually having a pretty good day today. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later. Peace out. And again, thanks for watching.